As Greta makes room for baby number one. Frankly, we need a mediator, because we're going to kill each other. Emotions are running a little bit hot. I get really offended when you tell me that my shoes are going in the damn garage. Not happening. We'll get all the latest in a live studio chat. We're in, we're in big trouble, Rachel. <laughs> Fashionista, our little Greta is all grown up and she is having a baby. She has let our cameras kind of document her journey along the way. We were there when she found out she was having a little boy. And she burst into tears. Uh, we were there for her shower, where she also burst into tears. And now we are going to check in to see the baby nursery come together. I'm sure she'll be crying. So cute. Let's take a peek. So here's the deal. We have to create the baby room. These are metallic. These go with this group. That is now Greta's dressing area. I'm getting a little worried about you, like a little getting a little, you know, OCD over the shoes. So we have, you know, we have to get them out of here. They have to, they got to go. I know, but I'm not going to just dump them in a box and... But they have to go somewhere. So can they go into a box temporarily and we'll put them in, a, in you know in the garage or something? I think the shoes represent for me just wanting to make sure that I can transition into motherhood and keep a sense of style that I like. The garage? No, not the garage. Well, where I mean, it? Ricky, look, it's not that I have a problem moving the shoes out of the room. I get really offended when you tell me that my shoes are going in some random basket in the damp garage. Not happening. I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll have to build another little wing or something for her. So I'm very lucky that I have a girlfriend I can call to come in and help us out. Greta! Oh, <laughs> yay! She's a designer and knows what she's doing, but frankly, we need a mediator, because we're going to kill each other. I like, you know, vintage, Greta likes modern, but if there's a middle something, ground... See, I thought you would have talked about it before, we and tried. the same thing. You know, you honestly, all your, we've tried. This has been all the Greta's way as long as you don't paint the wood. Is that cool? You just don't get houses that are built out of wood, not where it's exposed. If you paint it, you can never go back. That's a problem. I don't want to see the wood. I don't want to see room. the wood either. Really? I honestly, I just need maybe, you know, the rest of the day to think about it. All right. And just to do some sourcing, and then I'll come up with something fabulous. <laughs> just remember, the clock is ticking. Yes, baby's ticking. <laughs> I cannot believe that today is the day the nursery is going to be. It's actually going to start to get done. OK, so what do we do? You know, I thought I'd be sad, but I'm actually digging it. Really? The fabric All right, the girls, check before. this out. Ready, Cheryl? I know that oh you're going to love this. You're going to love this. Look at this. Teddy bears and bookcases. And this is beautiful. This is a real, like, old vintage French piece. And every single thing that I brought to Cheryl and Greta has been knocked down. And you want to just keep them in your repertoire and see if, you, if they fit in someplace? I am just afraid that there'll be none of me in that room, none of my personality in there. Come on, green cow, pretty cool, right? I like it. You See? Do. She likes it. It's definitely rock and roll. You like it. She likes it. Well, she can have it then. Because <laughs> it's not going in this room. <laughs> it's a very fine line because, you know, some of the things that Ricky likes, I just detest. I can't sit there and say, hey, I like it. Let's put it in there. You're going to put that back in the garage, right? OK, yeah. I don't want to see it when I get down there. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> I don't know how Cheryl did it, but I went to bed before Cheryl, and then I got up this morning, and she was already up. And she said to me, do not go upstairs. So I'm thrilled, because this is a total surprise for me. One, One two, two, three. three. Oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Get out. Holy cow. <laughs> oh, 
my like, How did you, you do this? This, this is, uh, look at the little cars. Look. Cheryl did an amazing job of capturing exactly what Greta was after, and it has splashes of what I've been putting out there. <laughs> And uh, that's that's a talent. I think awesome. I might Look. like his shoes better than my shoes now. This, this is a real. I've beautiful? grown. I've clearly grown. Yeah, but I don't a even lot, care about my there's shoes There's a lot anymore. more room for shoes this size. That's true. <laughs> that's true. So, are you happy? Yeah, I'm breathless. <laughs> I mean, I feel like. Oh, you did the room, and now I really feel like it's happening. It's coming. He's gonna be here any time now. This is this is it. Because you don't ever really think he's coming. <laughs> You really don't. That's this true. makes it real. How do you like your room? <laughs> do you like it? Loves. <laughs> that he loves. <laughs> now, I would expect nothing less from Greta's nursery. It's perfect, and I was a little worried you girl it up too much, because you're such a girl, and you're getting ready for a baby boy. But good job, fabulous. Before we talk to her uh, via Skype, let's take one last peek at Greta dealing with her ever-changing world. Check her out.